इरिथ्रो ब्लास्ट प्रो इरिथ्रो ब्लास्ट दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज प्रो नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट फ्रॉम प्रो इरिथ्रो ब्लास्ट और प्रो नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट दे विल फॉर्म नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट दे आर हैविंग थ्री फेज नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट दे आर हैविंग थ्री फेज अर्ली इंटरमीडिएट एंड लेट सो दीज आर थ्री फेजेस ऑफ नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट अर्ली इंटरमीडिएट एंड लेट आफ्टर दिस लेट फेज ऑफ नॉर्मो ब्लास्ट दे विल फॉर्म रेटिकुलोसाइट्स एंड दिस रेटिकुलोसाइट्स दे विल फॉर्म आरबीसीज दिस इज हाउ आरबीसी इज गेटिंग इवोल्यूशन सो दिस इज हाउ आरबीसी इज फॉर्म इन साइड द बोन मैरो This is the order of RBC production. Question number one. Another example of language twist. Hemoglobin first appears in this was the question in all India PG exam and many DNB exams. Why it is being asked in all exams? Because we are following guides and guides none of them they are mentioning right answer. Which is mentioned on Bintrose page number twenty-one, two hundred twenty-one. Hemoglobin first appears in pro-erythroblast. I know you might be thinking about intermediate. My answer is not. For this type of language, my answer is not a intermediate normal blast. So when examiner asks this question, that where hemoglobin appears first, this is the language. Hemoglobin appears first. so your answer should be pro erythroblast and in all india all india 2013 this was the name they had mentioned pro normo blasts instead of pro erythro they have written pro normo blast so hemoglobin first appears during pro erythroblast or pro normo blast phase but see what i said it's a language based question this hemoglobin which is appeared first can be detected by electron microscopy or special staining electron microscopy or special staining what i am telling you this is a paragraph of intro hemoglobin first appears in erythroblasts that is pro erythroblast also known as pro normo blast they will appear bluish tinge inside the mitochondria but they cannot be detected by routine staining it will be detected first by electron microscopy and special stain routine jimsa staining routine jimsa staining will detect it see this now this language if examiner says your routine jimsa stain will detect first then your answer will be intermediate normo blast so then your answer will be so if examiner is asking ki by routine staining by routine staining hemoglobin detected first hemoglobin detected first then your answer will be intermediate normo blast so remember this are these are other names other names for early is early is also called as basophilic early is basophilic normo blast intermediate is polychromatophilic polychromatophilic and late is also called as orthochromatic orthochromatic so these are various names so always remember routine staining or examiner is saying jimsa staining then you will go for intermediate or polychromatophilic which is given in guide so whatever mentioned in guide that is not the first time of appearance examiner is asking ki first appears first appears he is not talking about what is staining he is talking about ki when you can see them earliest or when actually they are appearing first so your answer will be earliest is the pro erythroblast or pro normo blast fine so this is how we have to solve this question now my question is what is the routine staining what is routine staining i am telling ki routine stain what is routine stain so routine stain is a romanovsky stain so this is a one family romanovsky stain so romanovsky stain is a family romanovsky stain is a family whose members are jimsa jenner right 
and Lishman. So these are Romanovsky stain, Chimsa, Jenner, Wright and Lishman stain. So these are Romanovsky stain which are routinely used. So when somebody says routine stain, it means he is talking about any four of these. Here examiner will ask you one question, which is most commonly used and which is the best one. So remember, Jimsa is most commonly used and these are the best one. Most common is Jimsa and best one. And if you remember, we have discussed in karyotyping also, Jimsa is used for G banding. So, we were talking about this RBC evolution. So, first we have seen hemoglobin appear first pro erythroblast or pro normoblast. Hemoglobin first detected by routine staining, answer will be polychromatophilic normoblast. Question number 3 Reticulocyte, is it nucleated or non nucleated? What do you say? Reticulocyte nucleated or non nucleated? So, this is how reticulocyte appears. And in this cytoplasm, you will find so many crisscross like substances. So, no nucleus. Remember, reticulocyte, I am writing here. Reticulocytes, they are non nucleated. So, number one, this was PGI question. They are non nucleated. Why it is called as reticulocyte? This is another question. Because they are having reticulum like or meshwork like structures made up of this is the question. This reticulum like structure is made up of this reticulum like structure is made up of ribosomal RNA proteins. So, they are made up of ribosomal RNA proteins. There was a question, Ki reticulocyte, is it larger than RBC or smaller than RBC? So, what do you say? Larger or smaller? Answer will be, reticulocytes are larger. So, this is the order of decreasing size. Order of decreasing size, what I am showing you here is a order of decreasing size. So, largest cell, stem cell, smallest cell, RBC. So, reticulocyte is, remember reticulocyte is larger than RBC. Now, there is a crucial question. Reticulocytes, can we stain by Romanovsky or routine stain? Many of the guys, they are saying, no, we cannot stain. Wrong. We can stain. Remember, Romanovsky, we can stain reticulocyte, but they are non specific. So, remember reticulocytes are Romanovsky stain positive, but this one is non specific. So, when examiner is saying, is it possible to stain with Romanovsky, answer will be yes, possible. But when you say that, is it specific? Then you will say, no, 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 it is not specific. Then examiner will ask his next question, then what is specific? 